Number 35, if f is a polynomial of degree three, four of whose values are shown in the table above, then f of x could equal which one of these? So we know that when we plug in negative one into this function, zero comes out. So if that's the case, then we know that x plus one has to be one of the factors because this means that negative one would be the value of x, correct? Correct, so we need x plus one. So you have x plus one, you have x plus one, you have x plus one, you don't, and you do. Okay, well we only got rid of one answer. Let's hope for better next time. Let's skip this point here, but let's go to this one. We know here if we put in x minus one is one of the factors, because one is a factor, we get negative one as our y value. Well, that doesn't help us very much because we want zero values. This says that x plus, or rather minus, two is a factor because we get the zero values. Remember they have to equal zero, right? So you need x minus two. You don't have x minus two. You have x minus two, so do you, and so do you. Now we also know that we put in zero for x and the y value will be one. So if you put in zero here, we get one times negative two. Zero minus negative a half is negative one half. And that all multiplies to be one. Put in zero, we get one, that checked. Let's go to this one, I put in zero here, zero plus one is one, zero minus two is negative two, zero minus one is negative one, and that's going to be positive two. We need, when we put in zero, we need one to come out. And here we put in zero, it's two times one times negative two, which is negative four, and that doesn't work, making answer choice B the correct answer.